I always referred to TARS and, and CASE as articulated machines rather than robots. Because to me, the idea of a robot is, you know, a machine that's impersonating a, a human being. These are purely machines. They have personality, though. They have intelligence. The physicality of the thing can be completely unrelated to that in a way that no creature that's ever come along before has been able to be. You know, that's separate in terms of the, the mind from the body. My inspiration was it should be a very, very functional piece of equipment. It should be, a, you know, like a light stand or a tripod or something or, or a camera dolly. You know, it should just be a thing. It shouldn't be something that the designers have in any way attempted to make look like something, let alone a, a person. What we wound up doing was going with the absolute minimalist approach to that, what we sort of jokingly termed as like kind of robot like Mies van der Rohe would design. It's pure, you know, function over form. So it's just a big block. And the block is divided into smaller blocks to subdivided into smaller blocks, all with the same proportions as the original block. And really what we wanted to do was unfold the design, I mean, literally in some ways, uh, over the course of the film so that you would see more and more of the functionality through the film. What I was looking for was somebody to take on the job of giving life and personality to what is essentially, you know, an inanimate object. And, and John Papsadero, our casting director, had me look at Bill's stuff and immediately you sort of say, okay, this is what we need. Somebody's a, a great actor, but he's also a clown. You know, he's the kind of guy who can, you know, he can take a, a step ladder and make it dance around. And that was exactly the, the challenge here, is for him to take something that is inherently restrictive and clunky and lacks all modes of expression and try and give it personality through its most basic restricted movements. Initially, when I read the script, I thought, well, you know, a lot of this is going to be down to us. But the reality was that uh, most of it was down to the physical puppets. Where visual effects came in is where we needed the robots to do extraordinary things. There's the scene on the water planet, and uh, the robot turns into a giant sort of water wheel and then thrashes off through the water to go and rescue Dr. Brand. And then it picks her up and runs back through the water. Again, special effects built some pretty cool rigs. They built this little all-terrain vehicle, quad bike, and they gave it really skinny wheels that allowed it to cut through the water a little bit faster. And then this thing had a rig on the front of it which churned up the water to give us the movement created by Case's legs as he gallops through the water. And then it had arms sticking off it and it could carry brand stunt double, uh, Alicia. And then what we did is we had to paint out all of this and keep Alicia and the arms that the churning water and add a, a computer animated robot. That was pretty cool to animate those things. It's been a gig where just about every aspect of the acting craft I've ever had has come into play. For a physical actor, the proposition was fascinating. 